Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to try to challenge the level 60 Fire Dragon. And I, from what I've heard, the Fire Dragon is probably the easiest dragon to beat, especially at level 60. Um, I've had I've had guildmates who said they were able to beat this Fire Dragon at like level 52 or level 53 for their character level. So I'm level, I'm currently character level 54 and I'm going to challenge the fire dragon and we'll see if it works out. So after I fight the fire dragon, I'll go over my equipment and my characters and you know, so you get a good feel for what stats my characters have so that and so you know roughly when you can do the same thing for challenging the fire dragon at level 60. So with all that said, let's begin. My lineup is going to be Ledin, who's going to be my tank. I'm bringing Leon, who's my DPS. I'm bringing Bernhardt, because he's going to apply a faction buff on Leon. And then my last two characters is going to be Tiaris and Liana. Liana's Le been a staple for every fight, and Tiaris is new. Uh, I just got her recently from that uh, focus banner uh, on the princess characters. So I'm hoping that her attack blessing in Miracle will provide me the extra damage I need to take down this fire dragon. We'll see if it, if that is the case or not. So everything looks ready to go and everything is set up. So without any further ado, let's begin. Now. The key point is I need to be able to take out these targets up here. So what I will do is Hmm. I want to avoid drawing these guys in. So I'm turning on the danger zone to see. And it looks like I can step into these tiles just fine. Uh, let's see. So let's begin with chivalry, as always. The bread and butter attack of, of Leon. And see how much damage he can do to the f Lava Titan. Ouch. That barb is dangerous. Alright, not bad. So I'll bring Liana up, of course, and apply per again. So he can get a second attack in. It won't be enough to kill him in two strikes, but then, so that will trigger these guys, all three enemies. I have not used Attack Blessing yet. Uh, and that's because I'm pr I'm thinking of using it instead on Bernhard. To be honest, I don't think it really matters, but in any case, uh, let's attack. And then move Leon back. Now, let in, moves up, applies his faction buff. Now, let's see. So they're out of range, so that means I can actually move Bernhard right here and use his faction buff as well. And finally, Tiaris. Let's move her in and do the attack blessing on Bernhard. <coughs> there we go. So these enemies have been triggered. The demon dragon does his roar on the end of turn one. So then there should be two turns cooldown, right? Looking at this, there's two turns cooldown. So turn two cooldown, turn three cooldown, and he should probably use it on turn four. So we'll see. In any case, all right. So all my characters are damaged. So the very first thing to do, of course, is to heal them up. And we can do that via Liana's prayer. Alright, so let's begin our attack. Bernhard needs to kill off the Lava Titan, and I will do that by attacking a Flame Skeleton. This creates a bit more space for my other characters to attack. Surprisingly, that strike was not enough to kill. Wow, okay. So I guess I should have applied Miracle from uh, Tiaris. 
Let's see if Tierras can finish this off. No! This is not good. Okay. Then... Well, in this case, I'm going to need Leden to tank two hits. Let's see if he can do it. So Leon charges in and finishes off that Lava Titan. Seriously, a bit of a waste of an attack, but... Whatever. Come on, Leon... Uh, Leden! There's hit number one. And he can tank two hits! So, that's good. Alright. Because he's able to tank two hits, I have a lot more versatility, I guess, in what I can do. So that's... that's a relief. Alright, let's attack. Bernhard with the strike. And then Leon with a charge attack with his skill. Meter attack, surprisingly, is able to kill anything. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. So I really should have used Attack Blessing here. Uh, or Miracle, I should say. It was a mistake to not use it. He has a lot of debuffs on him right now. It's so let's bring Liana up to apply another heal. There we go. So now he has health to attack. So he can kill off one of these guys at least. With his attack. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it got a little bit messy, but I'm able to get rid of these guys and get ready to deal with the remaining three monsters before I attack the dragon. So let's move Leden down. That was... Is that a, no, that's fine. Alright. Uh, let's use Leon to kill him off. And I'm not going to use a skill because I want to save them for the next group. Here we go. So next turn, I'm going to use a gain on Ledin to get him ready to fight this group. And I'm just, in the meantime, it's just healing up. I think I could have saved the turn there if I had used uh, Miracle. But... It is what it is. It's already been done. I can't really change it now. So let's apply Miracle now this group. No. Let's save Miracle for after Leden does his stuff so he gets that Miracle buff. In the meantime, let's just apply Attack Blessing. And the question is who should I apply Attack Blessing on? Let's do Leon. Uh, I don't think this is such a big deal to be honest. <laughs> so, Alright. Another Demon Roar. Okay. So it's a good thing as well that I saved Miracle. Because the Miracle has an AoE heal effect. So first things first, let's move Leden in. And apply. His faction buff. Next, we're going to move Liana. And use again. And that will heal everyone up a bit as well. Now... I can actually attack with Theon, can't I? I should. Okay. Uh, first things first, let's finish this off first. Um, let's get Leden in place. And Divine Guard. Now, we do Miracle. Okay, that affects everybody, just as I want. Nice healing effect as well. 
And now Leon, with Chivalry, will kill off one of these cavalry units. Should do it pretty easily. The final character to move is Pernhard, and he's just moving up. There's no point in fashion buffing when Leon won't get any benefit from it. So let's see Ledin with the Miracle ability. Not quite enough damage to one-shot the Hellhound, but very close. So he actually, as a side note, he actually used his uh, AOE attack on turn 5, right? So he used it, sorry no, he used it on turn 4 and it was my turn 5. So yeah, turn 1, turn 4. So yeah, so turn 1 and then turn 2 and turn 3 are cooldown. He used it on turn 4, then turn 5 and turn 6 are cooldown, so he'll use it again on turn 7. The demon dragon roar. So I need to pay attention to that. So next, at the end of next turn is when he'll roar again. Moving on, let's take down the remaining targets. And I believe Liana's attack. Wow, it's very close. 419 int, 408 magic defense. I don't even know if Liana can do damage with that. But let's give it a try. Yeah, nope. <laughs> well, in that case, let's just stun that Lava Titan. I know this Hound is going to suicide himself into Leaden, so I don't have to worry about it all that much, to be honest. <coughs> so I'm going to focus down that Lava Titan instead. Now all the buffs are off Leon. If I attack with Leon like this, should be fine. So let's just continue to focus down that Lava Titan. Just not much for Tierras to do. Heal, I guess. Alright. There we go. So turn 7, these things are cleared, and I'm about to attack the Fire Dragon. Let's see. So let's use Bernhardt to attack it and finish it off. Or <laughs> not? <laughs> just, just Bernhardt's damage attack. Yeah, his attack it just isn't very high. It's because he has the rupture and the dark guards that he can kill things. So let's keep moving up. Everyone else, attack blessing is ready, but I can't attack yet. So, but next turn. So I can move Leon up at least. Right? And then Tierras can go up and apply Attack Blessing on Leon. Get ready for the attack next turn. This turn is when the Fire Dragon is going to use his uh, AoE ability again. So fortunately, uh, Liana has Prayer ready. So. Not a big deal. Uh, she can just heal herself, it doesn't matter. Everyone's going to live. So, there we go. Here's the AoE. And then, turn 8, turn 9 are cooldown turns. So, he's going to Demon Dragon Roar again, turn 10. Alright, so. Everybody's moving up. Let's... Buff. Faction buff number two. 
I guess. Yeah. So let's move Liana and apply prayer. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Faction buff from Bernhard first. I need Tiaris out of the way. So let's just do that. And the reason I need Tiaris out of the way is so Bernhard can move in to the dragon next turn. So Bernhard to the Black Imperial Power. And now Leon for the attack. Let's see how much damage this is. 1400. It's going to be a close fight, that's for sure. Leaden tanks the hit. Not bad. We move Bernhardt in. So he applies his uh, his talent onto the fire dragon. So it has a bit less attack and defense. To protect him is Leaden with his divine guard. And then Leon. Attack Blessing wears off this turn, so I'm not going to use Chivalry just yet. He's going to just attack. Next turn, I'll Chivalry up. Now I do have the game, so... Might as well use it. There's no reason not to, so let's use a game. And... question is whether to chivalry or not, because I would lose this buff then completely. Ah, uh, Let's chivalry. An attack. Skill, 1500 damage, just slowly stacking on damage onto the boss, and let's heal up Leaden. <coughs> so, not bad. Overall, that is. Now it's a turn to apply Miracle! Go, Leon! Show your stuff! Now I could attack with Bernhard as well, but I'm kind of afraid that if Bernhardt attacks, he's going to die. So I'll leave Bernhardt standing beside the dragon, like this. And yeah, Leaden's here just to tank hits, so he can stand there. Everyone else has nothing to do, so that's it. And Ber yeah, Bernhardt gets attacked by the dragon. So the dragon likes to focus on the guy, this fire dragon likes to focus on targets right beside him as opposed to the targets he can attack at range. I'm not quite sure why that is, but it's an interesting thing to note. So, let's see, are there any skills? There is an attack blessing, so let's apply that onto Leon. And let's have Leon charge in. Damage seems to be dropping. That was only 9,000 just now. Mm. Let's get Bernhardt out. Because he needs some healing. So, Bernhardt, it's like a little dance now. And then move Leaden in. <laughs> and then Bernhardt. Heal up Bernhardt. So, I guess I'm going to be dancing Leaden and Bernhardt in and out. Like this. Wow, without his Divine Guard, Leaden does nothing. 
in any case. Well, he's back out. He does his faction buff. Bernhard in. So let's heal Bernhard with Tiaris. And then Bernhard can go in. Ooh. And then faction buff. So that Leon gets plus 20% attack. Alright. If I attack up there, I can retreat three... No, I can't even retreat into those tiles. So this is a bad spot to attack from. But I can attack from here, and then retreat back over here. So let's do that. 1400 damage. I am steadily piling on damage. And it is turn 12, so... It does seem to be working. Let's use again. Chivalry is up. So let's use it. <coughs> and attack. Bernhard takes the next hit. Excellent. Things are going pretty well. So, Leon with another charge. The dragon is definitely falling. Uh, it's turn 13, and his hit points are down to 3200 or so. So it's looking good. Now I need to rotate mm. these two characters. So let's move Bernhard out. And heal up. Bernhard. There we go. That removes one debuff. I need to remove the other debuff from uh, Leden. So let's do that. Instead of healing Bernhard, I will heal Ledin, so that debuff is gone. And then Ledin will move in and use Divine Guard. And if he takes the hit, he should do a big counter-attack on the dragon. Here we go. Let's see how much damage Ledin will throw out. It's only 7,000 or so. You know what? 7,000? It counts. It helps. Every little bit helps. Especially since it's already turned 14, so I don't have much time left. So I can step, it looks like I can step into the, this danger zone with any character because he just keeps targeting the guys beside him. Yes. In any case, let's move Leden back. Move Bernhard in because he applies the minus 8% attack and minus 8% defense. We use attack blessing on Leon. And then Leon does his attack. And let's apply prayer, just... I don't know, it's... let's see. Turn 10, then two turns cooldown, right? 11-12. He actually he hasn't used his AoE attack at all, because I guess he focuses on the target beside him. So I can just use Prayer without a problem. That way, uh, Bernhard is up to full health. So let's see how much damage Bernhard does. Only 1500. It's nowhere near as much as Ledin. I guess I should have left Ledin beside him, but now the Vanguard is off. Alright. Miracle! Turn 15, it is the last turn.
and he's left at around 6,800 hit points. Alright, let's leave Leon beside him and hope Leon does enough damage to kill him. Because I don't have any attack. Oh! Never mind. I have an attack from Liana with a gain. So, I do have enough damage to kill him. Let's use Chivalry, and then use the skill to attack, and that should end it. There we go. Alright. So it was a bit of a dance back and forth with Bernhard and Ledin, as, you know, Bernhard applies his debuff, while Ledin, when he has Divine Guard with his uh, faction buff active, he can do a lot of damage. Um, well, that was a disappointing drop. <laughs> but you know what? It wasn't my daily clear, so that's no real surprise. You know? The more important thing is I have cleared the level 60 dragon, so now I can farm it in the future. With the Secret Realm Blessing. Alright, so now that the clear is done, let's talk about my heroes. <coughs> so, I my character level is level 54, which means my heroes are level 55 right now. The ones I brought were Led in, Leon, Bernhard, Liana, and Tiaris. Okay? Let's begin with Ledin. Ledin is the one that's had the most change. He is now in his uh, Templar class. If I go into the upgrade class section, his king class has been mastered. So I mastered his king class and switched him to Templar. And the Templar class was, uh, it's currently at 3 out of 4 completion. Okay? So I just need a bit more materials and he is fully mastered. In terms of stats, uh, you can see them right here. I actually made a small comparison sheet comparing his stats when he was a king to when to right now. So give me a moment to bring that up. Let's see. Alright, this should be it. Aha! Yeah. So, if you look at the stats, in fact, when he was a king, it looks like he had more stats than right now, when he's a Templar. And that's with the mastery bonus from the king as well. He has a bit less defense, right? A bit more attack, 5 more attack, 13 less defense. His magic defense went up, but I wasn't even facing any magic attack, so that's kind of negligible. And his hit points actually dropped a bit, you can see there. So in terms of actual stats, he, it seems like it's decreased a bit, but the most important thing is he can actually hurt cavalry units now, and he's not vulnerable to cavalry anymore. So, you know, he was nearly able to one-shot those cavalry enemies that he faced. So, you know, the overall, it's a change for the positive. That's my opinion of it. So, let's go back to the game and look at the other characters. Alright, so let's see. In terms of, you can see his, he has the most equipment for me. Uh, Ledin, level 50 in AS armor, level 40 in AS helmet, level 40 King's amulet, level 30 Oath sword. So basically, you know, he has a lot, of, he's very tanky, lots of hit points, good defense, good magic defense, and that really talk, covers Ledin. Uh, in terms of his soldiers, let's quickly bring up the Lancers. His Lancers are level 6. Most of these, the basic training techs are basically all maxed out. And his the Phallax units are at level 6. Advanced training, basically around level 10 for all of these things. 8, 9, max, which is 10. And then over here, it's barely research. 7, 6, 5, 5, 2, and 5. You know, it's good you should have these techs unlocked at the very least, even if they're not very upgraded. Because every little bit helps and it adds up as you as long as you have them. 
So that covers Leaden completely. Uh, oh, there is his bonds, I suppose. And Leaden has pretty good bonds. I put quite a bit of money into upgrading his bond power. So his units are maxed out. His soldiers are at level 9 out of 10. And he himself is also maxed out. So I made him very tanky. Next, let's talk about Leon. Since we're in the bond section, let's quickly look at Leon's bonds. And I believe I maxed out all three. Yeah. So max, max, max. If these are level 8, doesn't, it's still okay. Like, I think at level 8, this gives plus 11%. You know? At level 10, it's just plus 15%. I have a 4% increase in my attack and HP values. It's not that dramatic. Same thing here. It would be level. It would be 8% versus 10%. Not that dramatic. This one, you should max out because the first bond, it's pretty cheap to max out. It's not like, you know, 260,000 gold the way it was for maxing out uh, that bond, the third bond. So Leon, his bonds are maxed out. His vampire bats, I think, were just level 5 or level 6. Not much to say about that. Uh, because I'm focusing more on leveling angels, so I only brought the vampire bats to level 5 or level 6. And I don't plan to level them any further. Equipment-wise, he has a level 50 last night. His armor is increased to level 50. Horror Helm is only level 46, not quite at 50 yet. And then Assault Ring is also level 50. And I think these two should be brought to level 50 as soon as possible, the Assault Ring and the Last Knight, because they give the attack bonus. No. The other ones, it's just extra hit points and it's not as important. So that's Leon. In terms of classes, he hasn't mastered anything yet. He hasn't even mastered Strike Master. I'm still missing uh, one last upgrade. And I don't even have Royal Knight yet, either. So, that's Leon's setup. The reason I haven't mastered it is because I don't have enough materials. I still need to collect a few more Seals of Glory, as well as some Master Scrolls in order to upgrade Leon up. Next character, Bernhard. Bernhard probably has one of the worst equipment sets out of my characters. Uh, and that's why he was... He has a level 50 Mithril Sword. SR item. Level 40 armor. SR. Level 30 helmet. SR. Level 30 speed boots. SR. And the speed boots, I will note, made a big difference in terms of moving him in and out and so on. So I'm glad I did do this. I did give him the speed boots. Uh, soldiers. Dark guards. And these are the dark guard stats. 360 attack. 218 defense. Um, not much to say about Bernhard either. I can quickly bring up his the training for the infantry, and I think it's decent, but it's not exactly amazing either, right? Yeah, I don't even have this maxed out, for example, damage against lancers, uh, but everything else is at level 10. Over here, 10, 8, 8, and then the final area, just, yeah, re decent research. Dark guards are at level 6, and yeah, all the other techs is, they're just being slowly upgraded. Level 10 there, level 7, 7, 5, 5, 7, yeah. Nothing really stands out, shall we say. In terms of bonds for Bernhard, I don't think I really focused on him. Yeah, that's level 8 for his troops, so I actually should upgrade this one. Level 3 for his personal stats. Level 2 on the third one. So his bonds are still really, really cheap to upgrade, in fact. But I haven't really done it because I'm not quite sure how long I'll keep using Bernhardt for. So, that's Bernhardt. Uh, Liana, let's bring up her bonds as well. Level 7, level 3, level 1. Not particularly upgraded. I haven't put any real gold into her upgrading her either because her troops don't really matter. It's just, I guess, if I were to upgrade something, I would upgrade her stats her hero stats to do a bit more healing, but I find she already heals fine, so I haven't really put any upgrades into her bonds either. And Tiaris, I mentioned, I just got her recently. I don't think I've even... I haven't even unlocked her her arena bond, because I haven't even fought with her five times in the arena yet. Her other bonds are just level one, so I haven't touched it at all. Uh, yeah. Again, she's also a healer, so she's not really attacking or anything, so not upgrading the bonds is okay. Let's move on to the characters themselves, the equipment page, which is Liana and Tiaris. Tiaris, 
as I said, I just got her recently. Her class, in terms of her class, she's barely reached. Yeah, she only has two upgrades out of the four possible ones in her main class. So I, uh, I just got her, unlocked this, and then unlocked Miracle, and that was it for her. Um, she's not attacking, as I said, repeatedly, she's not attacking. She's just a secondary healer. So the stats don't really matter. Uh, the main thing is she can survive the AoE attack from the Fire Dragon. And to that end, I actually gave her Lana's equipment set. This is a mage set of equipment. It's not a healer set. Even the enchantment is just clocks. But since her main focus is to apply attack blessing as well as miracle and act as a secondary healer with heal, that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah. That pretty much covers Tiaris. And then finally, last but not least, is Liana. Liana, again, not, she has not mastered her class yet, just scattering materials as well. Soldiers, it was just the Shrine Maidens, uh, there's nothing really special about them, I can show them in detail, but yeah. And then in terms of her equipment, very low level as well, level 50 Blessing Staff and everything else is just SRs at level 30. Not even level 40, just level 30. In terms of her soldiers, I don't believe they're that upgraded either. Uh, let's take a look. It's just the Shrine Maidens are at level 4, yeah. The main reason she survives is, is because Shrine Maidens reduce physical damage, I think. Other than that, you know, the techs, just not particularly upgraded either. Level 5s, level 6s, level 7. In terms of advanced training, you know, advanced, these techs are more for attack techs, so these are more focused for your mages. Right? Level 10, level 8, max, but yeah, nothing really special, just all around level 10 or below that. Advanced training, level 10, level 8, and finally basic training. Yeah, just the basic techs are maxed out except for this one. And this guy needs to stop sending me invites, good god. Okay. So that pretty much covers uh, the setup for my characters, you can see that most of the equipment is not that upgraded. It's just the tank and your melee DPS. Everyone else is more there to provide support, like Liana and Tiaris, and even Bernhard. So that's it for this video. I hope it was informative. As you know, as long as you focus your upgrades into specific characters, the ones who tank hits and the ones who do damage, you should be you should be able to clear this fire dragon. It's really not hard. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. And Nitro out.